Um, I don't know if you know this, but we are really getting close to our election season. Of course, I'm joking because I know you know this and it's all over the news. So in today's video, I just want to share with you a few steps of what we are taking as a family to prepare for the election season. Because you know, sometimes it can be turbulent and there can be civil unrest. And you guys know civil unrest can erupt without warning. You know, at any time, you never know with these things. So that's what I'm about to show you today. Just a few steps that we've taken as a family to get ready, to get ourselves ready for this season. And maybe give you a few ideas of a few things that you can do just so that you are not caught unaware, as you know. Because, you know, if it can happen, it might happen. And you don't want to be that person who is like, oh my gosh, you know. So I'm very happy that you're here. As always, I love spending time with you. Let's do this. So how will you be able to tell if there's like some civil rest approaching? First of all, of course, watch the news. Not too much, but just keep yourself informed and also social media. And when it comes to social media, please just be aware of fake news and don't spread any fake news. So we're trying to do that and we're being very keen on, on all that. But as much as we are getting, keeping ourselves informed, we're also preparing our family. Bye. As you can see on this day, I decided to go about and just take care of a few errands such as stopping up our gas our gas cylinder the no one you normally use was finished and then also we have a spare one just in case because you don't want to be the one who is going about buying gas when all things are going here you know and you know you guys we are believing that things are going to be peaceful we hope for the best but you know we prepare for the worst our approach is that we are preparing for a season of probably having to stay in the house for three four days without having to leave should anything go wrong and i think it's very important for for people to stay prepared for civil unrest or any other emergencies by the way especially if you have a family you don't want to be found unawares and unprepared <laughs> Another thing that I think is important to do is have money on M-Pesa, all right? It's a mobile money that was invented in Kenya for those who are not Kenyans. And then also, if you can, have some cash with you so that should... You know, you guys, there's that day when M-Pesa decides to crash when you really need some money. So I think it's important to have both options so that should anything happen, you at least are not stranded. <laughs> and let me just confess this was my first time ever taking myself to go fill up uh, gas cylinders normally it is my husband who does it for me but it was my day to run errands i've never done this before you guys <laughs> and my husband had to explain to me that you know what you do is every gas cylinder the weight is written over there so just make sure like our big gas cylinder was eight kilos so was it eight kilos no it was 12, 13 kilos 13.5 and then now you're buying 12 kgs of gas so then you top you add those together so when you measure when you weigh the gas cylinder it's supposed to come up to 13 plus 12 i hope that makes sense i mean i learned something new on that day and the guy was so nice he cleaned the gas cylinders oh i was impressed and then also i shed a tear or two for the price of gas Oh, help us, Lord. Also, um, considering our transportation, like if you have a car, I think it's really important to keep it fueled. Yes, she also shared another tier for the cost of fuel, but I think it's important in case anything happens. Also that it has uh, your car emergency repair kit, like your jack, your spanner, you have a spare tire, it is working. You know, should you need to leave immediately? And also, by the way, if you don't have a car, I think it's important to know 
where to cut your mat, your matatu if you need to leave immediately. Also have a backpack for carrying your emergency stuff should anything happen. You know, your documents, your, your, your ID and all that. Another thing that I did while I was out is to also top up on the medication that we use or that we need. Because, you know, something might happen and you might find like, especially if you have kids, someone is unwell, they have a fever then you realize you don't have the medication you need and then you cannot leave your house for like three two days you know so fill up your prescriptions which is what i was doing on this day and other medication that your family uses regularly like inhalers painkillers and all that antihistamines you know <music> And talking about medication also and preparing for anything that might happen, I think it's also important to ensure that your elderly parents who are back in the countryside, if you're like us, are also prepared. You know, like have a neighbor's contact whom you can call to go check on them should anything happen. And make sure they also have all their medication and prescriptions filled, you know. And also, should anything happen and you need to leave the city in a rush, because, you know, like for us guys, we live in the city, you know, metropolitan, whatever, you know, just in the areas. And then also you have other relatives, our brothers and our sisters. Make sure should you guys need to leave, you agree on a place where you would meet. And yeah, you know, just keep each other updated. <music> As you can see, it's a new day and yes, even as we're preparing for the election season, people must eat. And I'm making an amazing pineapple, cinnamon and raisin oat bake. All right. I've just come from the gym and I decided to do this before I showered so that I can leave it baking in the oven. I actually found this recipe uh, on Instagram. And it's a very simple one, but it was so delicious and healthy. Let me tell you how it goes. So you take two and a half cups of oats and soak them in 400 milliliters of milk for about 10 minutes. And then in the meantime, uh, chop up your pineapple into small pieces or you can use apples and then set them aside. And then what you do is you're going to beat two eggs. And once you've beat them and they're nice and fluffy, you're going to put in two and a half teaspoons of cinnamon and then half a teaspoon of salt and then a quarter cup of brown sugar. Although I kept thinking maybe I should have added a bit more brown sugar. Actually, you know what? Go with half a cup of brown sugar if, if you're a sweet tooth like me, okay? And then after that, you are going to add... Just, did I say a quarter teaspoon of salt? Yes, and two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. So you're just going to mix this all up. And in the meantime, your 10 minutes are going, all right? Then once you 10 minutes are up, add your soggy oatmeal now to the egg mixture and pour into your greased and lined baking dish. Then on top, you're going to pour your pineapple and then you're going to sprinkle with raisins. When I was pouring these raisins, it just hit me. I should have soaked them. So please just soak your raisins as you're doing all this in some warm water to make them a bit soft, all right? Then bake at 180 degrees centigrade for 40 to 15 minutes. Let it cool down and you're good to go. I served ours with some tea and some, some berry salad. Nah, that's it. That's it. I sprinkled ours with some maple syrup because... It wasn't as sweet enough. And that's why I'm saying put half a cup of brown sugar, not a quarter cup. I'm sorry, guys. You need breakfast to be healthy, but it also needs to be sweet or at least tasty.
By the way, if you're finding this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I really appreciate you. taste is heavenly it, it is healthy oh my gosh you guys i ate it all day i will not even lie <laughs> it went so well with my sugarless coffee yes we were talking about this on instagram yesterday you guys let me know in the comment section below whether you have been trying unsuccessfully to quit sugar like me or if you have been successful let me know what you did and yeah pray for us <laughs> i mean yeah just you know healthy and all that stuff. So I want to make some cleaning products because we've been out uh, making the liquid detergent and also some hand wash. Again, all in the process of not having to leave the house uh, for a while. Guys, I've been asking me to give them the names of the chemicals that I use for this for this uh, cleaning products that we make. Because you guys know we make bleach, we make hand wash, we make all that jazz. And where I buy them, you guys, they never tell us what the things are called. I have been trying to get this information for three years now. And if you know, please let me know. If you know where I can get the measurements, please let me know so we can help everybody else who's been DMing me. But basically, when you go to that shop, ugh, I'm not a fan of that shop anymore, but we don't have a choice for now. Uh, yeah, they will give you what you need.
I also want to make sure that we have enough tokens for power and just make sure that they are topped up. Also confirm that we have freezer meals. Um, yeah, just make sure that my family has enough food to tide us over for a few days. You guys know how much I love batch cooking. Let me know if you have watched our recent batch cooking video and which meals you are going to try there. If you're finding this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I really appreciate you. As you talked about uh, having medication, it is so important. So as I'm cleaning the room, I have decided to just confirm that our first aid kit is well and stocked up. By the way, our first aid kit is the most basic ever <laughs> because all it has it has uh, different <laughs> different sizes and shapes of bandages and also um, what do you call it? Sanitizing liquid in case anyone gets a cut or a bruise. Also checking again our medication and our prescriptions. Got rid of some that had already expired. And yeah, just make sure everything is ready for a few days at home. I think it is so important to protect your mental health during this season this election season because you guys know it is so volatile and oh my gosh some guys will get really just worked up over i don't know who votes for who and why are you voting for whoever i mean at the end of the day i am a firm believer that it is our civil and christian duty to vote but also you don't need to go about loudly shouting and expressing your opinion about who you voted for and all that so i think it's important to just keep your opinions to yourself sometimes especially if you find yourself in a volatile place and avoid endangering yourself and your family over suji whoever you know these people don't even know us and all that but also i am pre i am planning to vote early avoid large gatherings and going to see what is happening you know also not watching too much news I'd rather just watch anything else um like Susie's homestay or any other thing that you find calms you down and just helps you to be you know in a happy place and yeah just relax it's going to be okay we are praying we are fasting we are believing we will vote but no matter who is president guys jesus is lord it's going to be okay i hope you have enjoyed this video i'm so glad that you shared this few minutes with me i just thought it's nice to speak into the season that we are in please take care of yourselves take care of your families 
and watch another video on this channel it will calm you down trust me it will relax you you will learn something new and i'll see you over there bye